the benefits of traveling the world um, as a Princeton winemaker was working with um, many great characters, great winemakers. And um, one of my favorite stories, which really truly exemplifies Burgundy, I was working at uh, Domaine Le Pousteur in Volnay for Gerard Pertel, who unfortunately uh, died at the end of the vintage with a heart attack. But um, I'll never forget the story he told me. He went to old man Ramoisinet's birthday. And Ramoisinet, one of these iconic Chardonnay and Pinot Noir producers, um, the old man had been to Paris once and New York once, but his wines were sitting on every three Michelin star restaurant wine list, absolutely revered, uh, iconic winemaker, and someone brought him a bottle of 1945 Lafitte, possibly one of the greatest bottles of Bordeaux ever made. And uh, end of the party, they decided, the select group of six or eight sitting around, and they decided to open up, and the old man uh, sniffed it, put it in his mouth, and there was a tinge of excitement. And everyone was swaying with bated breath, and you have to keep in mind this guy is as, you know, he'd really never left Burgundy in his life. And he goes with delight, he says, Ça c'est délicieux, this is delicious. And everyone sort of sizes, has a sigh of relief. And then he says, Mais c'est pas de vin, it's not wine. And uh, what, what makes it so interesting is that he had never actually drunk anything but Pinot Chard or Chardonnay in his life, and that's what wine was. And here he was having one of the greatest Bordeaux ever, um, and he couldn't even identify it as wine. So that's one of my, one of my, one of my great stories.